Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful day here in Long Island. Let me, let me, let me just. Uh, Hello everybody, welcome to my channel as usual. I always come up with something different, different type of content. Today I'm crabbing on a pier here in Long Island. It's a beautiful day, it's very hot, very warm. It's uh, uh, 87 degrees Fahrenheit. If the real field temperature is like 95 degrees, um, I would say that's about 30, 35 Celsius. But we're here today and uh, I'm gonna show you how how we how we grab it. Great to see. You. Who's that? Nabal. Nabal. Eddie T's in the house. Lexi's in the house. Good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome to my channel. So we're in Babylon, Long Island. Beautiful pier over here. Hello, Lauren and Mackenzie. Great to see you guys. And uh, it's a great day today. It's hot. Uh, Nabal, I know in Europe it's very hot. Family members in Italy say in, in Sicily that, that uh, the mountains. We're all on fire. It's really hot. It's like 110 degrees Fahrenheit, over 43 Celsius, 44 Celsius, really hot. But I want to show you this beautiful marina, this beautiful pier over here. So love going crabbing. So guys, if you could share this out, share this out on your social media. I appreciate it. We will hang out today and uh, let's go. So this is a great pier for fishing and crabbing. And I, I decided, you know what? Let me go crabbing today. Let me go crabbing. Yeah, it's very hot, it's beautiful. We've got a nice breeze over here right now. But you know, the breezes are, you know, you gotta be careful because the, you can get wind burned very easily. Very easily. So see the boats are coming in to the marina? Great to see you. Hey, Kel, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna say hello to you guys really quick. There I go, guys. Great to see you. Look how beautiful. Look at all these boats. It's fantastic. It's one thing great about living on Long Island is that you've got a lot of water recreation here. And the bull, you know what that is because where you live, that's all they have is boats and water and it's really nice, really beautiful. Let's flip, the, let's go this way. Great, great. Wow, look at them. Look at the boats coming in. Okay, so what time to have? So what you do is I got these traps. Let me show you. So if you see, I got these traps in the water right now. And what you do is you leave them about 10 to 15 minutes at a time. You leave them. Hello, Lexi. Good to see you. And then after 10 or 15 minutes, you pick up the, uh, the crab net and we see if we have any crabs. So I want to share that experience with you. It's uh, really interesting. <laughs> but it's great to see you guys. Hold on. So I'm going to put you down, okay? I'm going to make sure there's a wide angle and I'm going to pick up the traps. Let's see here. There we go. So I'm going to pick up the traps. I'm going to put my uh, mic right there. And let's see what happens, guys. thing is if they're too small there's regu regulations here on Long Island you can't they have to be at least four inches hey let me show you that's a Maryland blue claw crab you see that guys look at that can't read the comments till I pick up the thing. So they gotta be at least four inches. This is not four inches. I'm gonna send them back to his mother. Okay, hold on. Okay, we got another one over here. Hold on. So 
Now you see the chicken? I got the chicken. Nah, he's too small. He's got to go back. He's another. He's too small. And what you do is so you don't pinch yourself because these guys will take your finger. You gotta hold on. He won't let go. There we go. See? Come on. Oops. Hold on. I gotta get him. I gotta get him because he will pinch you. Oh. We gotta get him out of here. Okay, here we go. We got him out. Let's send him back home to his mother and let's see if we can catch his father. Take this, there's a lot of seaweed over here. A lot of seaweed. So we're gonna send him back into the water. He's not big enough. So see what you have, we got chicken there, and that's what they like. So we're gonna go right back, put it out like this. And we're gonna put this one back into the water too. But let's, we, what we do is we take the seaweed away. <coughs> This is different, right guys? Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna put him back in the water. Send that back. All right, I gotta get you now. So, let me do a time check for you. Okay, now I can read your comments. Yeah, I'm fighting with the crabs, you're right. Florida Pete, great to see you, my friend. <laughs> yeah, so we got 1121. Let me flip the camera this way. It's 1121, so uh, another 10 minutes and I'll pick them up, 10, 15 minutes, I'll pick them up. But great to see you. Yeah, let me walk around the pier while we're waiting for the crabs. Let's walk down. So guys, if you could share this out, I appreciate it on Twitter. Share it out. Thank you, thank you guys. Look at these boats. Just incredible uh, bay over here. This is called, let me just pan over to the right here. This is called the Great South Bay. So if you're on Long Island, you could see on the map, the Great South Bay. Hello, Eddie, great to see you, my friend. Yeah. He almost, he almost got my finger. You got to be really careful with crabs, blue claw crabs. And uh, that's another marina across the way. Yeah, if I could catch them, Pete. Look, Jojo, great to see you. Do I ship them to California? No, no, I just, I just do it for fun and recreation. If I could catch something, you know what? Uh, we, I make linguine with, with crab sauce. And a red sauce, delicious. Nothing like crabs. Look at that beautiful bay here. So there's a lot of homes over here. A lot of homes on the water. There's your marina. People come in, they fuel up their boats with at the dock. It's very expensive uh, marine gas. It's like double or triple. And look at these beautiful boats here we have here. Sailboat. These are fishing vessels. Some of them are recreation. But it's really nice. It's a very expensive hobby, but um, maybe one day I'll get a boat. I'd love it. <laughs> oh, so much fun. So much fun. A little different. Hello, Lorna. Great to see you. Is that Mystery Maven? Is that my friend Mystery Maven? <laughs> Good to see you. We're here uh, crabbing on uh, Long Island here in Babylon. It's great. Yeah, I'll put you down for a minute. Yeah, it's uh, Josie, it's um, it's a beautiful day today, but it's get it's gonna get really hot. Right now it's about 80, 88, 89 degrees. If real field temperature is like 98. Somewhere in there, it's about 35 Celsius, 
36 Celsius. So we expect some major thunderstorms later on in this afternoon. Let me go over here. We expect some major thunderstorms uh, later on this afternoon because, uh, you know, when you get a lot of humidity, right, all the moisture goes up into the clouds. And I'm, I'm going to show you the clouds over here. There's no clouds, but let me show you this way. Let me flip the camera this way. Brooklyn Treasure Hunter, great to see you. Yeah, very hot. Thursday's going to be the hottest. You see those clouds? Let me just zoom in. Look at those clouds, guys. Look at those clouds. I mean, they're filling up with moisture right now because of humidity. And it's going to be really, uh, there's going to be major storms later on uh, this afternoon. Lexi, what did you say? Uh, fish and large striper in Arkansas come down would we'll take you. Yeah, oh, I love that. I love fishing. It's a, it's a great hobby. And uh, Pete, I could just imagine in Florida, it's 100 degrees. It's incredible. Yeah, it's just really, really hot. So, yeah, so we got a lot of fam, believe it or not, summertime, right? So you get a lot of people that go crabbing. I see family members down there, you know, with their children crabbing. It's a lot of fun. You know, my wife is working at the moment, so this gives me an opportunity to come down to the uh, pier and go crabbing. <laughs> 107. Jojo. Wow. Oh, no, Florida P, it's 107. 100, wow. Yeah, no, I could, you know what? I love Florida in the wintertime, but the summertime weather is so brutal in southern Florida. You know that, Pete. You know, Pete, do you go out in the daytime? Tell everybody, do you go out in the daytime in Florida? Watch, watch, ladies and gentlemen, he's going to tell you, oh, hell no, it's just too hot. Most, I mean, I got family on the west coast in Fort Myers. They don't leave their house till after six o'clock at night because it's just that, you know, it's just too hot to do that. Yeah. Eddie, you live in Florida too? How's my connection, guys? If my connection is good, give me a one in the chat. If it's no good, give me a two. What time we have? 11.27. 11.35. I will pick up the traps again for you guys. Okay, great, great. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, you know what people do, too? They have nets. They got this, you know, they got a string and they tie a chicken leg or something and they drop it in the water with a scoop and they lure the crab up and they, they scoop the crabs up off of these pilings. You see these pilings I'm showing you? Let's see if we can find the crab in the piling somewhere. Let's see, let's see. Do we see any crabs down here? I got you all the way down here. Yeah, almost into the water I have you. No, not there. And there's a ladder here. So people, they're scooping crabs, they're trying to find crabs. Yeah, we'll go over here. Just such a nice day, guys. Beautiful day. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, so I have a little bit of a cough. You know, I went to the doctor. I, was, I had sinus pressure and uh, got a sinus infection. So I had to take, I'm taking antibiotic, but I'm getting better each day. And uh, that, you know, that's good. But the salt air really helps me. There's nothing like breathing in the fresh salt air, it's really good. So let's try it again. We got about another two minutes and I'll pick up the crab nets again. Two more minutes. I'll try to read all your comments too at the same time. Am I feeling better? Um, yeah, I'm feeling better. So my, 
vitamin D, yeah. Yeah, Brooklyn Treasure Hunter. So if anybody wants to uh, subscribe to, uh, of course, you know Pete from Florida, but if you're not, subscribe to him. Uh, subscribe to uh, Brooklyn Treasure Hunter. He's very interesting. He goes looking for, you know, artifacts and gold and silver. He goes into parks. Uh, subscribe to his channel. Of course, you know Nabul. You know, he's, uh, he's in France. And he does beautiful stuff out there in southern France. And uh, who do we have here still in the chat? Let me see. Yeah, of course. I mean, we, we support our friends. You know, one thing about social media, we, we support our good friends. That's what we do. All right, so let me put this down over here. And I'll put you, I'll put you a little bit higher here. Great. I'll put you higher. There we go. Now I can read all your comments. Fuzzy Doxy, great to see you. Yeah, you love the view? Watch the boats coming through. So this is a, this is a pier, there's, a, there's about two different marinas over here and people come in and out of the uh, channel and they go into the Great South Bay to my right and they go fishing, but yeah, it's really great. Let's, let me just turn you a little bit over there. You can see it. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, let's see here. Let me. What does that mean? Oh, good. I got a better angle now. A wider angle. That's great. All right. So let me start picking up again. Let's see if we have any crabs. Hold on. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna clip the mic over here. Oops. Perfect. Just want to make sure you guys see me good. Okay, very good. I, I just want to make sure you guys see me while I'm picking up the nets. Pete, look what I have. That's for you. Tropicana, your favorite hotel in Atlantic City. Okay, let's go. Alrighty, well, I didn't catch anything that trip. Let's wait. We got, it's 11.33. 43 is 10 minutes. 11.48. I'll pick it up again. 11.48. Let's give you a little shot this way. Oops. Okay, I got you. Let me put my mic back on for you guys. It's a challenge to do this, but there we go. Now you're gonna see the jet ski is coming down here. Watch. So 
See the jet skis? They're having a ball. He's waving at me, the guy, right now. Oh, it's very cool. Yo, Dormery, good to see you. Great to see you, Dormery. Oh, uh, did I catch any? Yeah, I caught about two or three babies, but I had to send them back. Dormery, if you could share this out, I appreciate it. Thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate it. Look at this. So I figured, you know what? Let me, uh, let me do a live broadcast, something different. How many people live stream crab catching? I don't think too many. I mean, there is uh, people do videos and that kind of stuff, but this is just hanging out on a pier, crabbing. Something different. Oh, thank you, Fuzzy Doxy. See, I told you, Fuzzy Doxy, that I would go live more often. It's great weather. It's a lot of fun. And uh, it's beautiful. And I actually wanted to do this, like I said. We are supposed to get a, a pretty big thunderstorm shower coming later on this afternoon. So I wanted to get this uh, done early. Have a little fun, you know. Go crabbing. See if I could catch some for you guys. <laughs> A lot of fun. <clears throat> Just got Duty Ron's notification. He notified, but he's not live. It's probably uh, from last night. He did a great job. By the way, guys, if you're not following the Gilgo Beach murder case with Duty Ron, you must do so. Um, they caught that de demonic monster who we know for sure, well, alleged that he murdered three women over here at Gilgo Beach. Um, but they have a lot of evidence, and uh, I just hope that they, you know, he's, you know, these people could, uh, these family members could get rest, you know, by catching this evil monster that's out there. Magical Mary, great to see you. This evil monster. Part of the reason why in my last broadcast I told you guys why I go live is because I'm going to break it up a little bit. You know, being the Duty Ron family and the Duty Ron, uh, you know, true crime. Sometimes we hear things that are so horrific that, you know, we just, we've got to take a little bit of a break. So if we take a little bit of a break and I can bring some joy and happiness to you and fun like I'm doing right now, it's my pleasure. Yeah, ju ex exactly, Eddie. Justice for the victims. 100%. 100%. So there's the Great South Bay. This is the channel. People go out there. Deborah M M McCabe, great to see you. Oh, I've been doing well. Family's doing good. Thank you for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming in. You guys are awesome. So I just figured, you know... You know, we hear so much horror that, uh, you know, a little joy to your heart, something different. And that's, you know, me, a duty run and I is like yin and yang, right? The good and the bad we take. So hopefully, I pray for the victims' families and everybody. I just wish they catch, you know, once it goes to trial and they have enough evidence to lock this animal up. Because that's what... No, actually, I shouldn't say that because they're animals that are better. Animals give you unconditional love like dogs and cats and... You know, so... We can't say animals. A demonic monster. Evil. Oh, thank you, Jojo. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Oops. Oops, sorry, guys. There we go. Yeah, so we just want to make sure that... You know, this guy gets, you know, everything comes to him that he deserves. I hope once he's in prison that, well, it's not going to be a good look for him in jail. That, that I could tell you. I would, um, uh, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches is too, too good. Uh, I would, personally, a guy like that deserves, I don't know, a teaspoon of water every four days. And maybe stale rotten bread. 
you know, once every, once a week, that would be good for him because that's what he deserves. He had no conscience when he killed those innocent victims. He didn't care. Here's another beautiful boat, guys, coming. Here, let me zoom in for you guys, yeah. There's a beautiful boat. Looks like a 35 footer, 40 footer. Really, really nice. Prentice Mitch. Good morning to you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Say hello to Rob for me. So if guys, you don't know what I'm doing, I'm crabbing today. And I wanted to bring you along. So let's, what time is it right now? Is it almost time? It's 1140. Let's wait another couple of more minutes and I'll pick up the traps again. Hopefully I can keep something. Let's see if we can keep something. Erica Olson, thank you for coming in, for joining me. <laughs> Is Karen calling? Okay, that's that's a double. I just zoom. Okay, we gotta. I zoomed in for you guys. Princess Mitch, you remember that? Yeah, I'm in the town of Babylon. I'm on a pier over here where the Great South Bay is. It's uh, gotta run. Thanks for this, uh, Jess. Everybody, subscribe to our good friend. Mystery Maven. She's fantastic. She's got a great channel. Subscribe to her. I don't have to say. You guys know who she is. She's been many times on the Duty Ron channel. I'm going to try to catch crabs, but it's never guaranteed, you know. Nothing's a guarantee. The only guarantee in life is taxes and death. That's all it is. Uh, Brooklyn Treasure Hunter, thank you for coming in. I appreciate you always. Have a great day, my friend. I'll see you soon. Thank you. So guys, if you're new to my channel and you like what you're seeing, hit that note, give me a subscription if I earned it. Hit that bell notification when I go live and uh, you could be a part of a great community right here with a lot of great friends. Allison BD, great to see you. Great to see you guys. So what do you think? I should give it a shot or is it too soon? 11.42. Uh, 42. At 45. 11.45 I'm going to pick up again. You're going to get to see it. So wish me luck. And hopefully I could uh, take a crab home today. <laughs> Excuse my cough. <laughs> Kel, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Great to see you guys. Sugarfoot, great to see you. Welcome. Wait five more minutes? All right, Nabil. I'll wait five more minutes. So let's see, 43? 48. Eric Olson is always saying hello to everybody like, like I do. Nancy Drew's in the house. Good to see you, Nancy Drew. Great to have you join me here on uh, in Long Island. Crabbing, live crabbing. So if anyone, uh, could you do me a favor and please hit that thumbs up for me so the algorithm could pick up on that and more people could come in. If you'd like to share it out on your social media, much appreciated. Hit me off on Twitter and you know, I got a Twitter account, Joey Brooklyn BKLYN1. I'm over there on Twitter. Fantastic. My, hopefully my audio is doing well too. So everyone's saying my video is good. How's my audio? Oh, oh, Lynn Harvey, you remember that at the at well, Canarsie Pier, right? Lynn? 
Everybody used to crab at Canarsie Pier in Brooklyn. Or in Queens, New York, they used to crab off of Cross Bay Boulevard. Thank you, Fuzzy Doxy. Thank you, Magical Mary. Okay, let's see. Let me clip you over here, guys. There we go. Let's see. Throw out my coffee cup. Oh, Bama Sin, great to see. Oh, thank you so much. The salt water, you know, it really, breathing in the salt fresh air is really good for me right now. That's another reason why I came crabbing. That I had to do that. Yeah, it's good for you. There's that boat he's going. See the family's uh, members crabbing over there? Yeah, I don't want to show children. It's not my style. Okay. Oh, thank you, Dormarie. Oh, here's another beautiful boat coming. Oh, this is like a mini yacht. Let's zoom in. Look at that beautiful boat there, guys. That's no boat, that's a vessel. Yeah, that's a nice boat there. That's a, I would say it's a 60 footer. Easy. Easy. So now he's gonna head off into the Great South Bay. A lot of these people just recreational uh, drive in the bay. Sometimes they go out in the ocean. Most people do, they go fishing. Over here. Sugarfoot, thank you. Yeah, isn't it great? Clam digging and oyster collecting around Shellfield Island. Eric, is that in Long Island? Sheffield Island? Where is that? There is clamming out in, here in Long Island recreationally. You need a license to do that, and it has to be in certified waters. So when they mean certified, that means that the water is tested each day, and there are clam beds, you know, that, because you could get poisoned, you know, if it's not clean water. These waters are very clean, though, I must say. Connecticut, gotcha. Oh, Connecticut, yes, definitely. Yeah, no, I, you know what, even though I was from Brooklyn, I've always, I had a lot of family out here in Long Island, so I've been on boats many, many times growing up. You know, I learned how to uh, go fishing on boats and learn the rules and regulations of boating. It was a lot of fun. Here comes another, oh, here comes another boat. It's a little guy, it's called, he's called Splash. Yeah, so comes. There they go. He's in your camera view now. He's got the American flag. <laughs> Splash. Here's another big, beautiful vessel right here. Here it comes. It's a nice vessel. That's a 
a monster boat. So isn't it relaxing, Pete? To, you know, I love doing this just to relax. Okay, in one minute, it'll be 11.50. And I'll pick up crab nets. You guys got to give me luck here, guys. You got to give me luck. Yeah, Sugarfoot. There are tremendous boats out here. Let's do it. Let's pick it up. No, nothing. But here comes a beautiful boat. <laughs> a new bull. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, so it's 1150. 12. 1210, I'll pick it up. Eastern time. Nah, the chicken is good. They love chicken, believe me. Listen, last week I caught 10 crabs. I was here for three hours. I caught 10 beautiful, big, giant crabs I caught. That's our last one? We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, Eddie, you are here. You're here with me right now. All you guys here, all 18 of you are hanging out with me. Yeah, they just caught, they just caught two crabs on the, uh, with the line and the net. Tim, is that Tim? Oh, Tim Beers. Good to see you, my friend. Great to see you guys. Let's see. I'm gonna walk over here, I gotta check it out. It's starting to get really hot. Broke my uh my Gatorade today. Oh, the deadly, yeah, Princess Mitch, the deadliest catch. Yeah, I love that show. That's for Alaskan King Crab. They go out to the Bering Sea in, uh, out of Alaska, almost into Russia. And they catch. Yeah, let me show you guys. See these? You can see them? Those people down there, they're catching with a net and a, chick, a, a, a chicken leg with a string on it. They're catching them. Let's, let's go this way.
you had a bad day at crab and it's better than a good day at work. Bama, I know. That's true. Retired Irish detective, welcome to my broadcast. Sunscreen. Well, I have a short sleeve shirt on. I got my hat and my sunglasses. And, uh, yeah, that's, you know, I'm getting tanned. I got a lot of melanin in my skin. It's my Sicilian blood. But, yeah, no, you have to be careful with the sun. As our good friend Duty Ron has experienced, you know, um, bouts of skin cancer and... Uh, you know, he wears his hat, he, he's got the protective shirts on. It's really important. When you're fair, my son is fair skinned. You gotta be really careful of the sun. It's very dangerous. <laughs> you keep grabbing for you. Yeah, of course. Of course. Oh, here comes another boat out of the marina. Sugarfoot, feed a fellow a crab. He eats one time. Teach a fellow crab. It's multiple times. Got you. It's also an art to learn how to eat crabs the correct way. Most people don't know how to eat a crab, and they, they ruin it. My grandfather taught me how to eat a crab. Yeah, definitely, you should, retired uh, Irish detective, do that. There's a beautiful boat, the vessel there, look at that. Beautiful vessel. And you know, some these, a lot of these boats, they have unique names they have. One boat I saw, it says, I never sail. It says, never sail. And I said, I asked the guy, what do you mean never sell? He says, I had so many problems over the years with my motor. I decided to name it never sell. And now I'm okay. When I was younger, I used to lay out in the sun all day crazy. I can't take it anymore. Yeah, I mean, Eddie, we're getting older. We're not getting younger. Our bodies are not accustomed to the sun that way. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Josie. Is, this is a nice little boat to go around fishing in the uh, bay. It's probably a 12-foot boat, 10-foot boat. Let me zoom in on it. Yeah, Florida Pete. Pete, you got boats, man. We did a lobster fishing on the North Shore. Good time. Oh, yeah. You can catch lobster for sure. That's the kind of boat that I would want, just for like fishing and uh, crabbing out there. Look at the clouds now, guys. Here, let me walk around with you a little bit, kill some time. See the clouds? Those are some, wow, heavy clouds. So because it's so hot and the humidity is so high, the water, it's accumulating in the sky and then eventually gets too heavy and what happens? Boom! Thunderstorms. Typical summer weather here. It's like Florida weather. It'll pour. Torrential downpour. Anybody who lives in Florida knows this or in the south. It'll rain for like 10-15 minutes and the sun will come back out again. Hear that, guys? Seagulls. How did you like that, Erica? Was it fun to go lobstering? I tell you the truth, I never did. I never caught lobster, but I've known people have done it. You know, in uh, New York Harbor, they've caught crabs. I mean crabs. They caught lobster. You know, remember, there's two different kinds of lobster here on the East Coast of the U.S. Actually, three different types. The best lobster you could eat is the, the, the main lobster that comes from the waters further north from here, main lobster. 
poor dirty Ron is white as mayonnaise like you I'm Dr. Tom. yeah no he uh, when you're fa let me explain when you're fair skin like that you really have to protect yourself with like a 70 you know you gotta protect your skin Oh, it's a rainy season. So, retired Irish detective, you're in Florida now? You living out there? Oh, Erica, yes. Those pots, those, those lobster pots, they're heavy. And usually what happens, you gotta have some kind of um, Mechanical thing where you where you know pulls it up. Pulls it up. You can pull up Debbie Barron. Great to see you. Oh, you're in Texas. Okay. 13 years now. Moving to Texas soon. Okay. Yeah, I got family in Houston, suburbs of Houston, Texas. They love it. They love it out there. You know, I'm just a New Yorker. Rainy season, hurricane season. Yeah. Exactly. Now, I'm going to show you something. I spoke to the harbor master who's in that building over there. And I, you know, I first got here checking it out. I said, what was Hurricane Sandy like here when it happened? He goes, you want to know? Huh. He says, you see that building? The building over there? I said, yeah. He says, the, the waves were at the top floor, he said. That's about 30 feet high, 35 feet high. He says, every boat here, with, let me just uh, fix the camera. He said, every boat out here was on the water. You couldn't see the dock. You couldn't walk on the dock. It was impossible. Half of these boats detached and ended up a mile away, some of these boats. They were gone. They were completely gone. lives in uh, Hollywood, you know, with, or, or Boca Raton on the East Coast. The sun is brutal. You know, I, I don't think I could live there. And it's hot over here in New York to begin with. You know, New York summers are brutal too. High in humidity, but Florida, even worse. Excuse me. <clears throat> it's, it's a beautiful day. All the clouds are coming further this further east this way. Tampa. I got family in Fort Myers near Tampa. Not too far from Tampa. Yeah, a lot of destruction with hurricanes over here. I'll never forget it. You know, I lived, when I was in Brooklyn, I lived four blocks away from the bay. You know, I mean the harbor, New York Harbor, and the water levels, the sewers, it was coming up from the sewers. And I gotta tell you, I was really fortunate and lucky because I lived closer to the following block and the water just came up to my steps. And that was it, we were very lucky. It didn't happen. Oh, Graham, gr good to see you, Graham. Welcome, my friend. Water came up to the steps and uh, we were just very fortunate. Trees, everything was, everything was destruction. Hurricane Sandy, complete destruction. Oh, look at the seagulls, wait. Did you see the seagulls? The seagulls, they go dive bombing. Let me show you. That's a great, that's a great sign when you see seagulls because this, that means that there's fish. Yeah. Erica, Mississippi, yeah, of course. 
You know, New Orleans, same thing. Yeah, Bama, Sin, uh, I, I agree with you. It's, um, you gotta protect yourself, guys. You gotta use SPF uh, over 50. If you get 70 and 80, they do sell it. About, uh, I forgot the name of the brand, they do sell it. 70 and 80, use that. You know, my son, my adult son, he's, he's very fair skinned. And, um, you know, he burns. And it's very bad when you burn when you're young because that's a perfect recipe when you get older to get skin cancer. You're on the west coast of Florida near Tampa. You're moving to Sonora. 3,500 people in town. Wow, night. Wow, 3,500 people. That's... Talk about peaceful. Oh, look at that seagull. No, that's not a seagull. That's um, a herring. That's a herring. You know, the, you know, I have friends that live in Vegas, Las Vegas, Nevada. They get temperatures 120, 118 degrees, but there's zero humidity. So you know what I tell people? What do you think, that's not hot? You feel like you're in an oven. There's no humidity inside of an oven. It's crazy. These, you know, well, that's what happens summertime. time is it now let's see 1206 in four minutes I'm gonna try again we try to catch crabs again four minutes but I do want to thank everybody for joining me this live stream we're not going anywhere we're still sticking around you need to win the lottery so I can be a snowbird up north in the summer and down south in the winter Erica uh, a lot of people you know, people who have the financial means to do that. I agree with you. I agree with that. Especially as you get older, you know, you're not accustomed to the cold anymore. Yeah, I'm using uh, crab cages. Yep. And the bait is uh, chicken thighs. You know, I've drop a trap in and seven minutes later I caught crabs it just depends I'll wait till 12 15 I'll give it a little more time and see what happens I'll give it a shot you know I got spinal injuries, right? Neck and back issues. And uh, I could predict snowstorms, weather, very easily. You know, it's just our bodies are like barometric. We're barometric pressure. You know, we feel it. Right, Pete? Now, Pete from Florida, he's got back issues too. He knows when it's going to rain. Right, Pete? If you're still there. Yeah, it's like a blast furnace. I gotta tell you, I gotta try that, but I gotta, I gotta purchase a net. These, these people are catching left and right. <laughs> Thank you, Dawn Marie. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, these people, I mean, literally, they got, they're catching crabs left and right. I'm doing something wrong here, guys. 
Hey, Scott, what? <laughs> I crossed the border. Hey, welcome, brother. It's good to see you, Scott. <laughs> I'm crabbing over here. I'm in uh, the town of Babylon on a pier. I figured I'd bring you guys along crabbing. So I'm just waiting. You'll get to see me pick up the nets. So far, I caught uh, about five, six babies. You know, I'd throw them back. You know, I, I don't want to... I send them back to their mother because I want to catch their father. Sugarfoot, I got to tell you. I would make you crab sauce and you would really enjoy it. Trust me when I tell you. Oh, the kids having fun. Are you kidding me? There's a bunch of kids. Oh, here's my friend. She's coming now. Hold on a second. See, I got it. Let's see what time is it now? It's 12 11, 12 15. I'll pick up 12 15. You know, sometimes you don't have to wait every 15 minutes, sometimes just pick up. Yeah, I know it's that's what I do. Yeah, I agree with you. You know what I mean? Pig's feet, I don't go every, you know, right? When I feel like it, I just pick up. talking to my neighbor. Yeah, otherwise, forget it. Okay, let, let's pick it up, guys. Let's see. Cheap, I, I don't know. Right. I, I'm talking really, really cheap. Yeah. Where you know. Come back. See what happens. That's what happens. <laughs> but yeah, today, yesterday was my lucky day. Wow, well, it's you know. Lovely. And I was catching them in my traps. Then I text my sister. This might make it. I'm at the nuts, yeah. maybe. Baby, too. Yeah. I texted my sister. Yeah. She came by? No, no, no. I texted her to tell her that, you know, oh. I had caught like eight at the time. Yeah. And she goes, well, I want to throw in some uh, strings. Right. And that's what I did. I threw, in three, uh, I threw in two strings. Right. And I, I caught six on the strings and the rest in my trap. See that? Look at that. Too small. It's got to go in. Oh, yeah. Definitely. No, too small. This is a female, guys. You see, let me show you something. See that there, the point? That's a female crab. So, I don't keep female crabs because I want them to make more babies. But we're going to send her back to her mother. I'm back. Okay, so let's read the comments. Yeah, Scott, I'm having fun, man. Having fun. It kills a little time. Yeah, you see that female crab?
just just having fun over here. That's it. I kept. Uh... No, no, Princess Mitch. Yeah, I don't want to save the babies because no. they got to go back into the, you know, into the bay because we want them to get bigger, you know. And besides, you can't eat small little crabs like that, That's you know. Fine yeah, and then it's uh, like my neighbor just says it's a hundred and fifty dollar fine if they're under four inches. Four and a half, under four and a half inches, you must throw them back. Now, she was here yesterday, and she caught 18 crabs, keepers, she caught, she told me. So, they're out here. How do you know, uh, stars above. Well, how do you know? Okay, so, it's a guess. Once you throw the crab trap in, you give it about 10 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes. It all depends. It's really a gut feeling. And, uh... You know, is he going back? There we go. So she's, uh, yeah, let me help you with him. Yeah. So here, look, you see? He's too small. It's, it's, that's a male. See the point? That's a male crab. Blue claw. He's too small. So he's going to go in. Look, he's coming to get you guys. Look. Get him. Get him. Get him. Look, he's coming to get you. <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> yeah, DEC is big out here. That's right. It's worse farther east? Yeah, now you have to be careful. Careful. <laughs> right, Bama. You're welcome. So let's see. Twelve twenty five will pick up again. So are you guys having fun hanging out with me, Craig? Put a one in the chat if you're having fun with that. some lemonade to keep hydrated. Nothing like it. <laughs> yeah, stars above. So what happens, okay, so you got, they, there's, the tides come in and they go out. So right now, if I, let me look at where the tide is right now and I'll tell you. Tide is going out, meaning it's going out towards the ocean. Tides come in, they go out. The best time to catch crabs is what is known as slack tide. Slack tide is when it's a standstill, the water, for about 30 minutes is a standstill, 40 minutes. The, there's no waves, everything is completely still. That gives the opportunity for the crabs to move around. Okay, Princess Mitch, I'll see you in duty runs. Thank you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, you know what? Crab rings, I gotta try that. I gotta try it. Yes, very interesting. Always fun hanging with Chill Time with Joe. Thank you, Bama. I appreciate that. Appreciate it, you guys. You know, I come up with, uh, I'm a live streamer that does anything that is interesting. 
you know, I do, I do um, walking tours. I do different type of holidays, Christmas. I do, you know, if Florida Pete is still here, he could attest to it. I've been a seasoned live streamer for since 2015 on a place called Periscope. It used to be Twitter Live. Yes, retired Irish detective. The females have red claws, red tip claws. Stars above, great to see you. If I earn your subscription, thank you so much. They're doing well with that line. Wow, it's it really, let me, let me go over here. Yeah, see they're catching a whole bunch of crabs they catch in, a whole bunch. There's the Great South Bay. Here it goes, this nice, Vessel coming right now in your screen. It's coming. Oh, you're welcome, Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. Enjoy your brunch, Margaret. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. Blondie's in the house. Barbara George is in the house. Good to see you, Barbara. Hey, Joey looks fantastic. Sorry I'm late. Done volunteering at the food bank. Surf 7. God bless you, Barbara, for doing that. Always pay it forward. Always do what God wants us to do, right? Help our fellow brothers and sisters. Amen to that. Stars above, um, I have made crab cakes, but I usually buy the blue claw crab, you know, it's called lump crab meat, because if I had to catch these crabs and pick all the meat out of them, it would take, you know, a couple of hours to make that. It's, it's a really difficult process, so it's much easier to buy the can of cr lump crab meat to do it, but yes, I've done them before, they're delicious. Uh, Erica, so here's the, here's the thing. I've moved different spots, and I usually catch the spot I'm in right now. I've caught the most crabs. And my next-door neighbor over here, she has caught so many crabs. She's here every day. I don't come every day, you know, but um, she does really well with that. Oh yes, the Mer most of your blue claw crabs come from Maryland. Really, that those are the grounds for them. But they're right here, all the way here in Long Island too. New Jersey, all up the eastern seaboard of the U.S. I would say from Georgia all the way to Massachusetts, you can catch crabs like this. Uh, Matty Boy Sully's in the house. Great to see you, Matty. Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, and the bullet, you know, the, the water temperature is very warm. Last week, the water temperature in the ocean, they don't test it over here, was 69 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 
And for this time of the year, it's pretty warm in the ocean. But if I put a thermometer in the water right now over here, you're talking it's above, I would say 75 degrees. It's very warm over here in the bay. Scott, um, what's his name, the live streamer? He's a podcaster. Uh, Mike, He does that kid does great work. He gets great interviews. Uh, Ray Kelly. As a matter of fact, I tweeted at him because I, you know, I know him. I've moderated on his uh, live stream, and uh, I said, "Let me know when you get Ray Kelly on." Mike Cologne, yes. My cousin, I'll tell you a story. My cousin had one of the biggest contractors for the NYPD catering. So all through 9-11, he donated tons of food during 9-11. You know, he's got an Italian salad Maria in, in Brooklyn. He donated all kinds of food. And basically, uh, you know, there's contracts and everything. They loved his food. And even to this day, he's one of the biggest contractors when they cater, like when they have oh, different events like uh, award awards that they give out one PP. They'll have, you know, they'll cater for 300 people. You know, my wife has worked that, and uh, she actually got to meet Ray Kelly. You know, she she thought he was a great guy. He loves Sicilian food. He's funny. He's an Irishman who loves Sicilian food, Ray Kelly. He's got pictures with him and everything. He's a really, he's a, he's a tough boss, but, you know, he did a fantastic job with the NYPD. Blondie, I use chicken. You know, you could use ba crabs or scavenger uh, type of, you know, seafood. They will eat anything. You know, they like the garbage pickers they are. So they'll, you know, if crab, uh, crabs will eat anything. Fish, dead fish, they eat everything. So I use chicken because it's, it's very affordable and you could use it over and over again. It's very hearty. Yeah, so Scott, I was looking forward for that. Um, he says he had to get verification from Ray Kelly. He promised him that he would go on. I don't know what the story is, but I'll try to reach out to Mike on Twitter. So what time is it? We got 1227. Three minutes. In three minutes, I'm going to pick up again. I'll be right back. What's your world record, uh, Cash? I think 10 and... Yep. Scott, you're banned on Twitter. You can't be. Not with Elon Musk. He, he opened it up for everybody. Listen, Scott, have a great day. I'll, I'll see you soon, brother. Thank you for coming in, brother. Yeah. 
Okay, Bama. Mike Cologne. C O L A N. Mike Cologne. Look him up on YouTube. He's got an. He's a young kid, very smart. He's got a great podcast. He gets not just NYPD heroes. He gets FDNY fire department heroes too. Really interviews really good legends of the of of the of the you know New York City legends. This guy gets first responders. Sugarfoot, thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. If I earn your subscription, thank you so much. And uh, if you want to be a part of the community, make sure you click the notification bell so you get all notifications from me. Joey B K L Y N. Thank you. Okay, sugar, uh, sugar foot. Have a great day. Oh, Barbara George, it's my pleasure. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up one more time. Let's do this. The bull. Cleo's in the house. Good to see you, Cleo. Guys, subscribe to my friend Cleo. She does great live streams from Canada. Montreal, I believe. She's from Montreal. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Got a winner. He gets to go in the pot. Hold on. I'm gonna put you down for a second. Okay, now I got you. I finally caught one. That's the right size. You want to see him? Does anybody want to see him? There he is. There he is. Put him back. I'm back to read your comments. Hold 
on guys, my gimbal went off track. Okay. Alright, yeah. There we go. Okay. Well let's let's walk around a little bit. Yeah, I'll show you down over here. See those clouds? I'm gonna get a thunderstorm today. Yeah, there's gonna be a thunderstorm. How you doing, brother? Hey, here we go. So, anything work out? You know, with that guy that was jumping on you? I haven't seen him. I, I, I broke down yesterday, so I just broke my back from the right. I pulled out from the mechanic. So when? Oh, something was wrong. Yeah. Overheated. I'm out in the overheated. Yeah, no. I'm in the ocean. Oh boy. I'm catching fluke like crazy. Yeah. Real short. I said, oh, let me move a little further west. Right, right. All of a sudden, it starts to overheat. I said, holy shit. The end of a perfect day. My nephew went. And my the kid had a boat from out here. They brought back. He goes here. Here you go. I said, "What's all this?" You, yeah, you got to clean them. He said, <laughs> "Well, I'll take them." No, but they were all keepers. Like he gave me like seven of them keepers. Really? Yeah. Where, where Fluke. I don't know. Somewhere around the Great South Bay. Somewhere over here. I don't know exactly. It had to be in the ocean. Yeah, well, maybe he was. Who knows? But I didn't go with them. They also caught sea bass. They caught. Yeah, sea bass. I'm catching. Uh, well, sea bass is better. It's a better fish too yeah. to eat. That 100 percent. And I was catching bluefish. I don't eat bluefish. You're retired. I am. Yeah. Nitra, retired Nitra guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. Manhattan management. I'm, I float around all of Manhattan. And we're all city workers here. <laughs> Thank city. you for your service, Can't man. Beat that city pension. Thank you for your service, brother. Can't, can't, well, well no, not, military. Military. Oh, military. That and also your service for the fire department. Um, can't beat that city pension. No, you can't. Cannot beat it. Well, I went out. I went out uh, disabled. Oh, you I had a, yeah, you back. Yeah, back injury, the whole shit. I, I had 19 years I had. Yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, what are you gonna do? These things happen. But I mean, I never took off. I took va very little vacation. I was that kind of guy. Yeah. Things happen. Yeah. You know, what are you gonna do? Hey. The surgeon told me this. He said, "Listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna operate on you. We're gonna fix you. I can't, I can't sign you back. I'm sorry. That's just." You know, I, I figured I was in tears, the whole thing. He says, why? He says, you earned every bit of it. You know, don't worry. I, but you know how many people beg me? They have nothing wrong with them. They have little things wrong with them. Listen, I, they I, beg I, me to retire. I, I, I'm a legitimate doctor. I do everything right. He says, but you have an injury like, you ever see Christopher Reeves yeah. from Superman? That's what you have. Yeah. You made one wrong move in a crawl space. Because I did plumbing work for, for Nitro. Yeah, yeah. He says, you'll be in a lot of trouble. And that was it. So... It is what it is. You're better off. Yeah. Now you, gotta, now you gotta do what I did. Go out and board a boat. <laughs> Nothing about boats. And you learned, right? I had a boat before in my life. And you learned. That's a beautiful boat. You know, yeah. This I, is my, my sixth year with it. Yeah. yeah, I got my friends. I'm live streaming, but they don't know. You know, they just see a beautiful boat. My, uh, yeah, they love boats. Look at that. See, you guys, look at those boats. Beautiful boats, beautiful marina. Beautiful people. Beautiful people. All right, my friend. See, you guys, you meet a lot of great people out here, man. Yeah, sea bass. A lot of sea bass that catch it. My, uh, my brother-in-law went fishing with his son, and he gave me a bag full of fish. I had a fillet it yesterday. So everything's fresh in the freezer. Beautiful. Erica, you remember the bluefish? Yeah, bluefish is good. That's true, too. That's true, too. Oh, look at this guy. There we go. See, he goes, hey, Brooklyn. <laughs> he knows. He's from Brooklyn, too. So everyone here, I got to say the truth, they're very friendly people. Just very good, good people over here. And I'm, you know, I mean, I miss, you know, my old stomping grounds in Brooklyn. My mom's still there. But, um, you know, Long Island is really beautiful. We want a, very, a lot of great people. So, uh,
it's possible. So what do you think, guys? Should I, uh, let me see what time it is. Let's see here. Put you down. Should I give another shot? 1240. I'm going to wait one more pull and then I'm going to end the broadcast. One more pull. So hang in there. We're going to do one more pull and uh, we're going to see. One more pull we're going to do. I'm going to keep you here. One more. Another five minutes. So hang in there. Let's see if I catch anything. And uh, yeah, retired Irish detective. 18 years I got hurt on the job, man. NYCHA. I worked in Manhattan management. I worked all over Manhattan. My whole career was in Manhattan. From Smith Houses, which is by the Brooklyn Bridge. Maybe, I don't know if you worked in the city. All the way to Dykeman Houses, east to west. 42 developments, 42 projects. I took care of, I was in every single location I took care of. And of course you know, and I'm sure you too, you know, like Duty Ron, um, the 9-11 tragedy, you know. I was there for a week. And um, just a horror. I lost my cousin, uh, John Nazo, who was in the, uh, he worked for Cannon Fitzgerald. It was really surreal. I'll never forget that day. And hashtag never forget. We should never forget our first responders and our heroes. Never forget them. That's why when, when I met Duty Ron, when I was on Periscope, you know, we had something in common, you know. He, he says, wait a minute, you work for housing. I worked for housing. You know, he's a housing PD. And uh, we had a lot in common. My father is a retired 33-year. He, he was 51 years old when he retired. He was a chief superintendent for New York City Housing Authority for emergency services. And uh, he dealt with a lot of housing police all day long. Oh wow, your grandfather and father. Hmm. Follow me on one of the social medias and this way I give you my number and uh, we'll have a conversation. I'll bet you, you know, when I find out who your, your dad and uh, your grandfather were, I probably know, know who they were. Not just because all the years I was in housing, but from, you know, the information I got from my dad. So, yeah. Erica, hang in there. Don't worry about it. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not going to leave yet. I'll keep you, uh, we're all, we'll stay here. And I, you know, I know you guys are busy. And I, listen, I appreciate that everybody's here. Doing a great job. <clears throat> She's pulling in. Let's see what she gets. Anything now? Okay. Oh, thank you, Josie. If you look at my broadcast from, I can't think of the name, but I was in Lower Manhattan. It was raining. I, I went to the 9-11 Memorial, and uh, I was only, you know what? In so many years, I only went twice. It's very heartbreaking to go back there. Very heartbreaking. But yeah, we can never forget. Hey, I'll tell you something, what kind of person I am. So I got an accommodation from my job, from the city, for the 9-11, you know, part of the rescue. And, uh, and I told my supervisor, what do you want me to do with this? I don't want this. I'm no, I'm no hero. The real heroes are the ones who died. Those are the heroes. I just did my job. So, I mean, I have it, but to me, it wasn't. Life is more important. Very important. Good for you, uh, my friend. Good for you. You know, and I want to tell, I, now that I'm speaking about this, 
so many. That's why Ron gets checked out every year. You know, um, a lot of retired fire department, really ret all retired city workers that were involved with that. We're all part of the, the, the fund to get checked out. And, uh, you know, because people get, develop cancers, 9-11 <clears throat> related cancers and horrible stuff, you know, 25 years later, 20 years later, and people are still dying. I pray for those people because I just say, thank God I have my health. The only, I will say this, Governor Christy Whit Whitman, Whitman, who told everybody, don't worry about it. The air quality is okay. You don't, need, you don't need anything. Yeah, right. She lied straight to her teeth. She lied. And, I, and I'll tell you this. I was already fitted because of the type of work I was doing. You know, I did a lot of plumbing work for housing. I, um, I was fitted already with a, with a mask. So I never took, I just changed the cartridges on each side. I never took it off but to eat when I was there. And thank God I never took that friggin' mask off. Hello, Karen Cole. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. I'm crabbing here on the pier. If you just popped in, I wish I welcome you here. <clears throat> just a little entertainment today, crabbing. I caught one crab, Karen. Yeah, I'll show you. I caught, I caught one crab, see? There he is. Blue claw crab. Blue claw. The rest of them were babies, and I put them back because you must be... They have regulation size. It's got to be more than four inches. If it's not more than four and a half, it has to go back in to the drink. Any kindergarten knows the air quality was not safe. Uh, Alexi, of course. Of course. It's just let, let me just say this. It was just ho horrific, horrific. I'd seen it with my own eyes, man. I was working. You want to know my story? I'll tell you really quick. I was working uptown called a place called Carver Houses. That's near Mount Sinai Hospital across the street. And I was called to do a toilet stoppage, clogged toilet. It's, it's about 8, 8 o'clock in the morning. We get our work order tickets, and I go to the first job. And all of a sudden, the tenant starts screaming at the top of her lungs. Please, sir, come to the, come to the TV. I have to show you this. And I saw the first plane go into the World Trade Center. I couldn't believe my own eyes. Then I got a call on my radio, my citywide radio, that I leave what I was doing and go to the maintenance area to gather. And then my, on my other radio, I got different channels. My supervisor from the borough office told me, I'm coming to pick you up, go into the, get every flashlight, get everything you could possibly get, bring all the masks you got, and we have to leave now. So when I got there, I was in a city truck and they flew me down there doing 80 miles an hour. It, and then the second plant, it was just, listen, it was horrific. Oh, retired Irish detective. Yeah, you know. So like I say, I am no hero, no way, straight your form. The real heroes are the ones that were running into the buildings, not out of the buildings. Those are the heroes. To me, it will always be a terrorist attack, no matter how they spin it. We, we as a country, we were caught with our pants down. We had no idea things like this couldn't happen, and it happened. May God rest up. May all those, I pray for those families. There's a lot of suffering even to this day from people that... Children became police officers and firemen and military because of their heroic parents that went through the World Trade Center and even the ones who died. So, you know that. All right, it's time for another pickup, guys. Enough with the sad stuff. Let's, let's talk about the good stuff, like crabbing. All right, so here we go.
nothing, guys. Anyway, listen. My gimbal has died. And when it dies, I can't hold it, the phone any place. So I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me. Thank you for supporting me always. And um, I'll see you in your next broad my next broadcast or in Duty Runs broadcast of one of the many great people that we support all the time. God bless each and every one of you. I will say goodbye to all of you. Yes, uh, Karen Cole. Karen Cole, I do have... I, uh, I got Cash App now, just to let you know. Remember you were asking me about a coffee or whatever? I don't want you to donate. I'm just saying I, I did the smart thing what you told me to do. So just to let you know that. It's in my bio. All right, I'll catch you later, guys. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I'll see you soon. Ciao for now.